This is a Fusion Dock Max 2. And I have to say guys, I'm truly excited to go over the details of this actual job. The feature that it has is pretty amazing. Let's get straight into it. All right, so let's see what's inside this box right here. I'll get my knife. And I'll just... Pigeon. Make sure that the product gets to you nice and unharmed. Fusion Dot Max 2. Triple display support, 23 ports connectivity, 80 slash 128 gigabits per second speed, and it's made for your Mac book. So, all right. So if we look in the back, you can see all of this diagram right here. All right, so let's get into this baby right here. Nice and easy. And there's nothing else inside the box. All right, cool. And... Wow. Very nice. So you do have the user manual, quick start guide, and tips and for you know troubleshooting. So we're not gonna go through that. So that is good. Now we have the actual unit right here. Let's put it to the side. Let's see what else is inside the box. And we have here, this is for our power. Not too big. I like that. That's pretty good. Let's put that right there. And let's see. So this now, I think this is our USB-C. So this is for our, the laptop. You have these two connections right here for your laptop right there. And then you have these other two right here. All right, let's put this to the side and let's see what's on the other side. All right, so there's nothing else inside the box. So we have the power cable, which works with this. And we do have, uh, these are the Thunderbolt 5 cables. And also they, also, they actually give you <clears throat> a 4K60 cable if you do need that. So. Let's put these to the side for now. Let's get inside this. Let's slide it out. All right. So first impression in terms of the weight feels really solid in the hands. Um, the one thing I noticed so far is that it's definitely going to be picking up a lot of fingerprints, which is okay. Um, for me, that's fine. It has two rubber grommets at the bottom here. So that way you can, when you place it down, it won't be moving as freely once it's on, you know, a really good surface. All right, so now that you have to actually see what is inside the box. What I want to do is just get over a few of the details here. You have 23 ports in total for this actual dock here. And you definitely not going to run out of ports anymore. Um, especially if you, when you're using it with your MacBook Pro, which is what it's made for. Um, it also does not support, there's no support for the PC and also Intel Macs. Just want you guys to know that as well. This definitely supports three monitors and the cooling is a significant feature that I'm very much interested in because my Caldigit is really, really hot when I'm using it and I really don't like that. Uh, the build quality of this is just outstanding and I can't say enough. I love the way in which they designed it. If you look, you're gonna see the, an entire groove right around the entire unit there. And the fact that you have that, that's an extra amount of cooling that you're definitely gonna be getting. Because on top of having the fans on the inside, you know, take, blowing out all that hot air, you also have a spacing where the, the air won't sit on the unit. So you're definitely going to have some extra cooling. So you don't have to worry about that. When we come to the front here, you can see that it actually has a power button here, which for me is another plus because a Cal digit does not come with one. And the fact that I can be just I can just turn this off when I'm when I'm not using a unit is enough for me. 
to say, yes, I want to get this. Um, the unit was actually sent to me by uh, the people of Ivanki and I have to thank them for that. Um, they're going to be seeing the video at the same time you guys are seeing it and they have nothing to say where this is concerned. So what I want to do um, is just, you know, identify the ports here. So you have your regular SD card and micro SD and you have your PD out, you have your microphone, USB, USB A's and you have four here and one USB C. Let's go to the back. If we go to the back here, you have another mic again and headphones and you have a 2.0, you have a 2.5 uh, LAN and you have your five gigabit uh, USB-C right here. This is your connection for your laptop, all right? And you have your HDMI uh, out right here and you also have a, a digital in, which I think is pretty nice. Um, you do have these three ports right here, which is your Thunderbolt 5 ports and you also have your USB 10 gigabit port here. You also have a lock and then you have a DC in. All right, so what I want to do is I just want to go and get my laptop and pretty much just uh, hook it up and see where we go in terms of speed. All right, cool. All right, so I got my laptop and what I want to do is I'll show you how easy it is for you guys to set it up, okay? So you saw what's inside the box and all you need is just one cable connection that is going to plug into the DC in at the back. Once you plug that in, as you can see here, the light actually comes on and you can choose to turn it off, all right? Which I really do love. Next, what I'm gonna do now is grab the cables. So these are the two cables I mentioned before, guys, that you can see that this is going to be going to your laptop, all right? And all I'm gonna do now, it's pretty much just line it up. Don't think it really matters too much. So I'm just gonna plug it in one and two. So once that is plugged in, now I can just have this plugged into my laptop. So I'm using the M4 MacBook Pro. Uh, the, and uh, if you look to the side here, you have two USB-Cs here and you have one over here. So the moment you plug this in, you're definitely gonna be losing your ports. So once you plug this into your ports, guys, you're definitely gonna be losing ports. You're only gonna have one left, but you don't have to worry now with this dock here because you do have 23 ports, all right? So you have more than enough. So what I wanna do is, like I mentioned before, I want to do a speed test with this just to see what it's like. All right, so what I'll do is I'll turn the power on want to turn on the power so just keeping also in mind guys once you turn the power on on this you're definitely going to also be charging your laptop as is indicated up here all right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my trusty ton about five uh small hub that i have here from uh Acasis. so all i'm going to do is i'm going to plug it in to the usb the thunderbolt section on the back all right, and now I'm just gonna plug this in. Wait for it to come up. All right, so my drive is up now. I'm just gonna go into my test folder. I'm gonna just kind of reduce the size of this here. So what I'm gonna do is I do have a folder here. And let me just look at the details. And it's saying here that it's a 298 gigabit file all right so i definitely want to transfer that from the main hard drive to the uh solid state drive over here all right so what i want to do now is i'm going to copy this file i'm just going to right click and say copy and that's going to copy it over here once i copy it it's going to start that All right, so it is now transferring. So that took about five minutes something, guys, and it's pretty much pretty okay, pretty standard for this kind of unit. So, you know, my, my thing is, is it something that you would definitely need for your day-to-day -day uses? I would have to say yes, since you're gonna be using it with your MacBook Pro, and your MacBook Pro does not come with, uh, you know, many ports. Like I said, this one comes with three ports, and I think this is the most that they do offer. Um, so this is definitely going to extend 
your ports on your computer. So, you know, if you're someone that uses your laptop as your main daily driver, you're definitely gonna need this because if you start plugging in monitors, you say keyboard and audio and other stuff, you're definitely gonna be running up your ports very quickly. So I think this is definitely something for some, some creators out there who are maybe photographers, videographers, you name it. You're definitely gonna be needing this. My final thoughts on this, guys, is this is definitely for persons who are creating content out there who need the ports when they're at their desk working hours. And I think this is a perfect companion to your MacBook Pro. Um, like I mentioned before, this is not NOT, not for PC and Mac with the Intel chip inside. This is made for your MacBook Pro. And yeah, I think this is something that I really am looking forward to using. I definitely want to be not using my college anymore because of the heat. I really don't appreciate that at all. And the fact that this cools really nicely, I'm really happy about that. Uh, I'm not too thrilled about the 2.5 gigabits for the LAN, um, but for me, I'm not going to be using the LAN, so it doesn't matter to me. My MacBook, uh, my Studio Max Book Pro over there, the Max, has a 10 gigabit, so if I want, I can use, always use that, but I'm not gonna be using this at all. Definitely gonna be using the audio side of it with the mic and the headphones. Um, I definitely need that. Uh, and for persons out there, like I mentioned, this supports three monitors, so you definitely will be okay if you do have that kind of setup. Yeah, so guys, if you're interested in this device right here, um, there'll be links below for you guys to purchase. And I just wanna say thank you to Invaki for uh, sending me out the unit. I have to say I'm really impressed with the build quality and also the design. The design is definitely made, gear, made and geared towards cooling. You know, to know that you have a design where air cool air can pass through and not only that it also have a unit the fan inside that you know blows out the hot air so i'm really happy about that and i mean i can't say enough the power button you know the power button is really a really good feature that they added to it so yeah let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below guys if this is something that you'll be interested in and yeah uh, if you guys enjoyed this video uh smash the like button guys if you guys are new to the channel subscribe for more and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace.